Hey folks, Marty Nowicki from Impact Snap, coming to you from the Turning Stone Resort and Casino in upstate New York. We're going to talk about getting into your left side, how important is it, and where are your leverage points on the downswing. <laughs> to have a lot of great mentors. My one real mentor is Jim McLean. I've worked a few years for him down at Doral uh, in the late 90s and early 2000s. And one thing Jim always taught us was if tour players are doing it and winning, then it's okay to do. Um, and I've also had the great fortune of learning under Jim Hardy, Mike Bennett and Andy Plummer, Kelvin Mayahara, George Gankus, uh, Mike Bender, Bobby Clampett, Lynn Blake, uh, and there are a lot of great systems out there. And I want to talk to you today about, you know, a lot of people say, geez, Marty, how do I get into my left side? How do I finish on my left side? And I just want to go through some videos of tour players, what they're doing, how important it is getting into your left side, and what are the real purposes? Am I getting there so I can turn? Am I turning first, then getting there? Am I shifting over there and then trying to turn, you know, what, what is going on in a downswing to produce quality shots and solid shots. Okay, so we want to talk about, um, here are a couple, a couple different things. I got Patrick Reed on the left. He was last week's winner. Now, this, this is footage from uh, about 2014 or 15. He was at Turning Stone playing in an exhibition match, um, and he clearly is doing a couple things right here, okay? He, seems to me that there is some pressure going to the left foot immediately, but I would say that the, the pressure going there is for the sole purpose of him turning the left hip or the left side of his pelvis out of the way. So the left femur and the left side of his pelvis is pulling back. And if you watch carefully, it pulls back enough where his left foot is off the ground. So when people say, geez, you know, I need to learn how to shift or what have you, it's like, okay, what's the purpose of a shift? Shift is there to get some pressure uh, into the ground so that the femurs and the pelvis can turn. And you'll see clearly as he's striking the ball, that left foot is in the air. So um, I like to have a little fun with people and say, you know, geez, how important is getting to your left side, and, you know, I think the average person looks at a video like this and says, geez, look at how beautiful he finished on his left side. Now, uh, here's Dustin Johnson on the right, and clearly he does not have the foot movement that um, Patrick Reed has, but if we watch what the left femur does, it is turning out of the way. And we're going to talk about what the feet are doing. You can clearly see how much the left side of his pelvis is getting out of the way. He's in a position where he can now push off of that right foot. So he's pushing downward there. His rib cage is turning up and to the left so that he can launch it swinging upward. Now his foot does spin a little bit, which would indicate, okay, can't have a, a ton of pressure there. I'm, sh I'm sure there is some. But from a shifting standpoint, I think so many people mistake what shifting really is. Uh, I always like looking at long ball hitters because of what their feet are doing when they hit a ball. Everyone uh, would love to have more distance. So here's Jamie Sidlowski on the left. And he clearly plants right into that foot. But if we watch, really, what's going on aside from just him planting? You got the left femur marked in yellow there. And you'll clearly see in a very short period of time how much that femur has moved. He definitely has some pressure into his left side. But you got to wonder, what is the pressure there for? I would say he's got pressure under both feet, so he has pressure under his uh, trail foot as well as his lead foot for the sole purpose of getting into the ground 
and pushing off the ground. Now, for the people that have a foot that's too square, I expect to see that foot to spin. And I'll show you a few other videos about you know, how much are you really getting into your left side versus how much are we trying to leverage the ground so we can turn the pelvis and spin the chest. So here's Jamie coming into the ball and he's turned his pelvis so much, the femur's trying to get out of the way that that foot comes right off the ground, completely repositions itself, then he lands on it so that he can now balance and look like he has a nice balanced finish position. Uh, I'm going to show you an older uh, swing of Scott Stallings. He has since lost some weight, but Scott is one of the longer hitters on tour. And, you know, he is clearly getting into his left side, but for the sole purpose of that left hip or the left side of his pelvis turning out of the way. And here, once again, you see a foot at impact completely in the air, completely repositioning itself. And I would say he's doing that because he's trying to get his pelvis to turn so that his chest can turn. But he appears to be balanced under his left foot. I'd say, you know, don't worry so much about shifting as you would about turning. What I love about watching some of the old time players, and this is a video I've used before. This is Gary Player on the left. You can see where his chest is. And you can see where his chest is there. Now, I'm going to scroll that back for a second. You can see how pointing, pointed out his lead foot is. That'd be something that, you know, if, if you're a golfer and you're not flexible, which that's another video we'll have to do, is it's not that people are, aren't flexible. It's they, they don't know how to move their joints so that their, their body can do what we need it to do. So you can clearly see his chest is pointing back there. And I think something that's uh, really important, you know, the elite golfer is getting from there to impact in about 0.25 seconds. And you'll see how Gary Player replants the foot. The foot spins out again. And I would estimate that he's getting his chest to right there in a total of about 0.35 seconds. So in 0.35 seconds, he has turned his chest and his pelvis 180 degrees. And that's really what we're looking to do. Uh, yes, I understand that people do swing with their arms and they can produce. The arms are the kind of single biggest uh, speed producer. However, if we have the ability to add the spin to that, well, then that can then magnify or add to how much speed the club is uh, uh, accomplishing. Here's Arnold Palmer. Clearly, he's going to plant that left foot for the sole purpose of turning the pelvis. And you'll see as I scroll this further, he's turning his pelvis so much that his feet will both actually spin right out. So if, if you have a junior golfer in your life or in your family uh, and their feet are moving around a little bit, I wouldn't you know, tell them to change all that stuff. Just be careful because in all the videos I've just showed you, uh, there's really not a great uh, movement of players, you know, shifting way over to the left. I'm Marty Nowicki for Impact Snap, coming to you from the Turning Stone Resort and Casino. Please hit the subscribe button down below. Click the bell notification so that you can get notified each time we put out new content. Leave your comments down below. That helps us to create more content for you. For Impact Snap, I'm Marty Nowicki. Thanks for watching.